Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to build a Node.js application using AWS code build and push the build artifacts to S3. I have logged into the AWS management console. In this demo, we are going to push the build artifact to S3. So first let's go to S3, click create a bucket. So we are going to create a bucket now. S3. So we'll enable the bucket versioning, then click create bucket. The bucket has been successfully created. Now let's go to the code build. Create a build project. We'll give the name as the demo s3 build the source provider so we will select as aws code commit as our repo is in aws code commit we'll select the repository and we'll use the reference type as branch and we'll use the managed image provided by the aws code build operating system will use as amazon linux 2 runtime standard image will select the latest version so we are not using docker build image so we are not enabling this flag new service rule we'll leave the default name as it is and we are going to use the build spec which is going to have all the information related to the build then we are going to configure the artifact it's amazon s3 then the bucket name what we have created namespace type optional you can give us build id So let's click a zip, the artifacts will be uploaded as zip and then click create build project. So the build projects has been successfully created. Now let's go and review the buildspec.yml file in the code repository. In this install phase we are going to use the node.js latest version and pre-build phase we are not doing anything as part of the build we are just going to do an npm install and the post build uh, we are just echoing some things it is actually going to copy the artifacts to s3 and in the artifacts we are saying copy all the files and the name what we are using is a scenery underscore app now let's go and trigger the build build projects let's start the build You can see the build has succeeded so which me and here you can see the artifacts have been uploaded so let's go and see the artifact in the s3 this is the x3 bucket and here you can see this is the build id you can see the build id then you can see this is the folder where the artifacts have been uploaded you'll be able to download this save you can see all the files are available in this folder in this demo we have seen how to create an s3 bucket and then create a build project with artifact configured and when the build is triggered the build artifacts are getting pushed to s3 bucket and we have validated the content of the uh, zip file by downloading the artifact from the S3 packet. Thanks for watching the demo.